200,000 visitors flocked to Cincinnati for All-Star Week. And for out-of-towners, we are now in the rearview mirror. But as those out-of-towners look back, what will they remember? Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hurst joins us live downtown with more on that. Hi, Jeff. Well, good evening. You know, the Fan Fest is gone from the convention center behind me. The fans are gone, but the glow from All-Star Week still remains. Kind of reminds me when Sally Field, yes, work with me here. When Sally Field won the Oscar a bunch of years ago and she got up at the Academy Awards and said, you like me, you really like me. Well, that's what Outer Towners are saying about Cincinnati. They like us. They really like us. As All-Star visitors were checking out of their hotels, they were also checking out good deals on All-Star merchandise, 50% off half price souvenirs along with priceless memories. Oh, it was a great time. I mean, I was, uh, I was impressed with the city, the preparations that uh, they made. It was uh, very interesting to come from a big city to come to a, uh, another big city and see how they did with the All-Star Game. Downtown hotel rooms are basically sold out, and fans who spent money for lodging also spent money for food and drink. It was incredibly awesome. It was humbling. You know, I bet 50 to 60 percent of the people here were from out of town, and the city just got rave reviews from everybody who was there. Chris King and his family loved the city. Do you think this is the kind of place now that you'd come back, not just for ball games, but other events? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yes, sir. The Kings are from Bardstown, Kentucky, not too far, but you can also find folks from the world of the Mets and Yankees. That's where I grew up. From New York, right? Or Obviously from New York. New York. We live in Westchester County. Be specific, because I grew up in Westchester County. We live in Mount Vernon, New York. All right, I'm from Hartsdale. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so about 70 miles, scored a touchdown to Parkway Field. Long, long time Parkway long Oval. Yeah, he right. plays for Tuckahoe. Tuckahoe, all right, very good, all right. All right, okay, so I went, I went to Arsene High School. Okay, awesome. All right. One thing which out-of-towners really liked about Cincinnati, everything is close by. You can walk from the hotels to the convention center and to the ballpark. Is this your first time in Cincinnati? Yes, it is. And you think? I think it was wonderful. I enjoyed it. I could come back. What made it good for you? Everything was convenient. And everything was, well, it was just a good time. I didn't get to go to the game. They went, but me and my mom stayed at the hotel. Well, actually, we went to Fountain Square, and we watched the game on the big TV. And I thought it was really fun, and it was just like a fun party, and lots of people were there. And I like how the city's decorated. It, it looks really nice. And now, speaking of those half-price uh, souvenirs, here is my all-star pin that I bought today. It's a $10 pin that I bought for $5 which I can now put on my full price hat or my full price shirt. And if I go back to New York to City Field or Yankee Stadium, the people who came here will find me and they'll say, hey, I saw you in Cincinnati. Live downtown, Jeff Hirsch, back to you. <laughs> you know, that was fun listening to you talk with the, the guy from New York, but why did he have such a thick accent and you have none? What happened? I have culture, he doesn't. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. You're no, terrible. that's not nice. I, I've been out here, I've been out here, I've been out here so long. I've been out in, in Cincinnati so long that whatever edge I had, you know, I left it back on the other side of the Hudson. Well, I have family out on Long Island in Huntington, so yeah, they all have culture out there. Jeff, thank you very much. The Reds are hoping to keep the all-star spirit alive when the boys are back on Friday to take on the Cleveland Indians. The first 25,000 fans at Great American Ballpark will get a t-shirt that tells you to get your stash on.